before I start off with anything on my face, I always love to go in with a foundation primer first as this will serve as a barrier between the skin and the makeup. And I always love to use two different primer, a mattifying primer for the inner portion of my face and a hydrating primer for the outer portion of my face. Reason is because I always produce oil on my T-zone and like my nose and also the sides of my nose. So I always prefer to go in with a mattifying primer on those areas and then I use a hydrating primer for the outer portion of the face. So as you all can see, I don't have a perfect skin. I have dark spots, acne, blemishes, like I have hyperpigmentation all over my face. So I always prefer to cover up my skin imperfections first before going in with my foundation and I always love to use a dark brown concealer to do that. I've tried so many, so many color correctors but I always notice, you know, at the end of the day after applying my makeup, I always see my blemishes peeking through my makeup and you guys know that is not flattering at all. So I discovered, you know, a trick of using a dark brown concealer, especially if you're a woman of color. This will work so well with you. If you've tried um, all like the green, the orange, the peach concealer, and nothing worked just try a dark brown concealer I always love you know using a dark brown concealer to cover up whatever it is I want to cover on my face and so once I'm done covering up my skin imperfections the next thing will be another trick I just started using especially if you have oily skin I always love to use an eyeshadow primer and apply it on my nose because my nose is always the very first place I start producing oil all throughout the day so I always use an eyeshadow primer on my nose and also the sides of my nose and I love my MAC um, paint pot and once I have something that looks like this, the next thing will be to go in with my foundation and I will be using my Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup and this foundation is a full coverage foundation and also it's a matte finish. And if you have an oily skin, I would always advise you use a mattifying primer. So I'll be using this foundation today and also I will actually be trying this artist brushes. Like you guys, I've seen a lot of people rave about this um, artist brushes right here. So I got my hands on it and I'm so so excited to be trying it out in this video. So to apply my foundation, I'll be using Artist Brush Oval 8 and it just looks like this. This is exactly how the packaging looks and once you open it up, you will see the brush right in here. Like they always call it um, toothbrush brush. As you all can see, it looks, you know, just like toothbrush. So yeah, I'll be applying my foundation today with this brush and it's so dense and very, very soft. So once I've gotten the coverage I want, the next thing will be to contour and chisel out my face and I'll be using my black opal stick foundation in suede mocha. I will just apply it on the areas where I want to slim down, especially the hollows of my cheeks, my hairline and also my jawline. Next thing I'm going to do will be to highlight my under eye, chin and also my forehead and I'll be using the Kat Von D Lucky Tattoo Concealer in I think the 31. So I always love to use the same brush I used to contour to blend in the contour and the highlight so you don't see any harsh line. Next I'm going to set the highlighted areas and I'll be using my Laura Mercier translucent powder. And while setting my under eye, I always love to set the entire inner portion of my face. So just like I set the areas where I highlighted, I will also set the areas where I contoured with my L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder in C8. And 
and then the last thing will be to make sure the contoured and the highlighted areas are well blended so i'll be using my smashbox halo hydrating perfecting powder achieve my full coverage flawless foundation routine and this routine will be so so perfect for people with acne dark spots hyperpigmentation and also oily skin like i'm really loving this foundation right here i don't know why i slacked on this foundation for such a long time i really do love it as you all can see it gives a very nice full coverage matte finish yeah guys i hope you all enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to help me share it and also hit that like button below and if you haven't subscribed already definitely hit the subscribe button and till my next video i will see you all very very soon